release on Kevin Keats, and certainly we're real excited that he's remained in our program because he's given us so much. And one thing I wanted to see more than anything else, because it's normal for athletes, coaches, or anybody just to make sure there's no sense of complacency after coming off two Big East championships, two Final Fours, and a national championship. And Kevin has just been the opposite, which speaks volumes to what I think of him in terms of his enthusiasm, his work ethic, his every single day trying to impact the program in a way I, I, I think is very positive. So we're very excited uh, to have him in our program, and he certainly uh, deserved this, this type of recognition for the, for the job well done. Houston is, like SMU, uh, a very dangerous ball club. Uh, they're, they're different in many respects, but they're an outstanding team off the bounce. They're terrific at the, at the guard spot. Uh, inside, they do a lot of things that gave problems. They just, they were up like 17 or 18 on Connecticut, and Connecticut made a ferocious comeback, and they, they hung on to win, lost to Cincinnati by a point. So they're a, uh, one of the elite teams in our conference, and we have to be certainly ready for them because Chris Jones will not be playing tomorrow. Uh, he tweaked his oblique muscle. That's like a hamstring of the, of, of, the, of the side, and that can take anywhere from a few days to a, f a few weeks, depending on uh, how serious it is, which I, I have no idea. What were they doing against UConn to, to build such a big group? Well, like anything else, uh, they were hurting them. Uh, on the break, they were hurting them. Uh, UConn took some shots. They got out on the break. Uh, they've got great inside play, great outside play. So uh, they made shots. As generally, when you get that type of lead, that's what happens. Look, just look at their numbers. It's kind of strange that three of their top scores, three of their top four scores, double figure guys, come off the bench. Is that just a yeah? I, you know, I, I that would be a question that he could answer a lot better than me, what he sees, but those guys coming off the bench are very, very good. Well, Kevin's duties change at all? No. No, it's just recognition is all it is. Does this mean he's a coach in waiting? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I know you've talked a lot about Kevin and what he's meant to the program the two years, the three years he's been here. Is he almost to the point where he's ready for a head well, coaching job? Well, he turned job? down two head coaching right. jobs last year. Right. And that speaks of his maturity because he knows that this program is a program well worth waiting for the right opportunity to make sure you can win, recruit good plays too. So, you know, patience is, is not a, a mark of young coaches today, and it, it is with Kevin. He's, he, he could definitely leave this year, but it's going to be the job that he wants that he thinks he can win at. 